busy and very crazy that I would not normally go for. I really should run. We haven't really done this. <laughs> what happens if Instagram? I don't really know how it's going to work. Come the next day. Do you remember when I went to? It is quite wacky. Bootlegged jeans. We're going to regret it. I'm honest, I wouldn't recommend it. And I kind of need a room just for Lego. I'm just as worried as you are. So this is how old it's been. Good morning and welcome to another week. It's Monday. It's actually Monday afternoon. I didn't go out for my walk this morning. I was meant to meet a friend and then she cancelled last minute. So I just did work instead. So I haven't got my steps up at all. Just looking at my watch. Um, so I might need to go out tonight and do that. I'm off to do the school run now, but we had a really lovely weekend. It was very busy and very crazy. We did a party uh, for Raf. Those of you that have followed me for a while will know that his birthday was on the 1st of September, so I'm not quite sure why I bothered doing a party now. I booked it at Stockeld Park at the Playhive, um, which I totally recommend. Uh, we had a guy there who hosted it for us, and he was brilliant, really, really good. Uh, the Playhive is amazing. It's absolutely stunning inside, um, really good clean and beautiful and oh it's just really nice so all the parents that came were like wow this is amazing so we had a really lovely party uh on this was sunday saturday we were just i can't remember what we were doing just jobs and loads of jobs so i feel like my week has already started and i'm already exhausted which is not good so this weekend we are going to hopefully have a little bit of a slower weekend that's my aim and my hope. A few things have arrived in the post though, so I wanted to just show you because I want to put them on this week and do some photo shoots, but I thought while they're all hanging up nicely, I will give you a little preview of them. So here we go. They are from this company here called Love and Roses. Now I've never really worked with them before. I have seen them on Instagram um, and they are, you can buy it in Next. So I've just been like kind of looking them up and they're part of Lipsy. So Lipsy to me is for like teenager girls. And they've got always got quite nice prints and you know, a bit different. So this must be kind of like their adult range, I would say. Anyway, they had quite a few things on the website and they said, would you like to pick out a few pieces? And so this is what they've sent me. So we have got my, obviously my favorite blue color, which I've got on now in this big coat, it's kind of fluffy. It's like a real fluffy kind of blue. I've never had a colourful coat before, so I'm quite excited to wear this. I'm really excited, actually. So that's that coat. And then there's also this black one, which is rather nice. Look at the buttons. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. So uh, it's just, it's, slight, it's a 14, this one, but it's quite oversized, which I really like. It's really nice. Uh, then this leather jacket, which is amazing. It feels so nice. It just is great quality. I really, really like it. And then I really love this print. So I don't normally tend to buy uh, shirts with pockets on them on the top here. I feel it draws attention to me even better. But I think this will hopefully work because it's the same pattern print, so you don't really notice that there's a pocket there, so I'm hoping that'll work. And I thought that would go nicely with these. So I've got on my uh, Spanx leggings here and my big chunky black boots. And I thought that would actually work really well together because it goes quite low and just covers your bum. So I'm hoping that'll work really well. And the same print over here was for this dress. And again, uh, I've just tried this on quickly and it cuts really nicely. I prefer it to cut a bit higher, but it actually cuts in quite a nice place. I think if it was slightly lower, it wouldn't work for me at all. Uh, but I really like it. It's a V-neck. It's got a little bit of detail on the shoulder, not too much, so that it makes me look bigger up here. I think it works really well. I really like the print as well. And then also this dress here, which is green leopard print, something I would not normally go for at all. But I really like it. I think it's really nice. It's kind of like a boxy sort of style, so it goes straight down. But I think the lines here and the V really sort of help some of my shape. Also, my good point is my legs. So if I have a shorter dress and then I have my legs, 
then I think, I hope, that works much better for me. Anyway, I thought you'd quite like to see these pieces. I will be putting them on and I'll obviously put them on my Instagram so you can actually see what they look like on. Uh, but they're really nice, great quality. Um, so I'm quite impressed so far. I've also been sent these boots. So they're from this company here. And I have had boots of theirs in the past. I've had some little brown ones, which I wear all the time. I really like them because of the size of the heel. I can't walk in high heels really anymore. I'm too old. So this, I think, will work really now well. They're like a kind of taupey brown colour. I'm hoping they'll replace some other ones, which are looking a bit tired. They're really, really nice. But anyway, I'll be trying those on too, but I just wanted to show you those. I've got quite an exciting week ahead. Tomorrow I am hosting a blogger's lunch with Lucy. So she is called Harrogate Mama. Um, I'll put a link to her below so you can go and find her. She has been blogging for a long time, probably longer than I have. And she writes a really good blog as well. If you're actually into reading blogs, go over there and have a look. So we are hosting a lunch at 63rd and 1st in Harrogate. I went there a couple of weeks ago for, for Sunday lunch and for dinner as well. And it was really good. The food was amazing. The decor was lovely. Uh, so I think we've got about 20 people coming tomorrow. And we are going to have a little bit of networking and chatting and just catching up with people basically. Um, so I can't wait for that. So that's tomorrow. And then this week I've just got lunch dates and meetings and bits and pieces going on whilst sorting out the renovation project in, oh, I can't do this ever, <laughs> in that room there. Um, so I will be showing you bits of that. We had the guy come to look at the radiators this morning. He's coming back this week. We have another man hopefully coming to do the wallpapering uh, with my funky wallpaper. I'm so excited, like literally. I really, I decided I like it now. I really like it. So they are coming back to, he's coming back, Chris is gonna come and do this. I'm really pleased. And then I'm also sorting out the curtains with Lou's thread. So I'll put a link to Lou below as well. I'm working with her on a collaboration um, for the curtains in the other room. So I've just been ordering bits of fabric from my fabric company. And yeah, I can't wait for those to go up. She's also getting some lovely poles for me as well. So I'm really excited about that. So we've got a really busy week ahead. Yeah, it's chock-a-block as usual. I really wish I would have some time to just stop. I don't ever seem to do that. Anyway, hope you enjoy watching all of this vlog. I will take you with me tomorrow, obviously, for the lunch and film some bits so you can see who's there. But have a wonderful week ahead. Good morning. I'm just doing a power walk. It doesn't look freezing but I promise you it is freezing I'm walking fast basically to keep warm I really should run but to those of you know that know my running story I just can't be asked to hate it so I'm just fast walking um, I didn't do my walk yesterday as you heard so I'm trying to do it today um, before I head out. Today I'm going to Harrogate, which I'm really excited about. Oh, it's very sunny, isn't it? There we go, if I pan over there, you can see. So I'm trying to do this really quickly because I've got to get back and get ready. Um, and there's probably loads of things I need to do beforehand before I go. So I'm gonna take you along for the journey. I will show you what I'm wearing when I'm ready, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna put on one of those new dresses that I got yesterday, I think. Oh, I love this walk, it's so pretty. It's literally gorgeous along here. I think it's gonna be a nice day, even though it's freezing. Good morning um, again. I am just getting ready to go out. This is one of the dresses that was sent to me yesterday. I'm gonna do a full video in a minute of actually what I'm wearing so you can see. I've just tried to curl my hair. Look, I've curled this bit the wrong way. It just looks rubbish, so I'm just gonna pin it back like that. So, I'm heading out now. Go um, to 63rd and 1st, which is a restaurant in Harrogate. They are hosting a blogger's lunch 
for a load of local bloggers basically lots of which I have met before but some of them I haven't so I'm quite excited to meet them um, and actually catch up we haven't really done this over Covid for obviously the last two years and so it's actually really nice to see people again and meet up and network so we are off to go and have a lunch um, in Harrogate Lucy Harrogate Mama is organising it with me um, she's very organised and on it she even did like a spreadsheet of who was coming way over my head um, so I'm really pleased that she's doing it with me uh, there was one point last week where I thought it was actually Thursday the lunch this is how disorganised I am so I'm glad it's today I'm really looking forward to seeing her um, and everybody it's such a gorgeous day outside so I'm going to try and wear this I think with the leather jacket but it might look like I'm going out for the night so maybe it wouldn't work with this I'm going to do that and then I will show you the outfit um, and then you will see some clips for the lunch which we um, are, d are having in Harrogate in a minute um, so. I quite like the length of it I'm just looking in the mirror here and I love this V with the lines do you think it looks right? yeah looks nice um, so I feel a bit dressy though so I'm going to put this this is the leather jacket that came yesterday We'll put this on with it and see what it looks like. I feel like this would be good for a night out, maybe not for a lunch. Do you not think? Yeah, night with that. Yeah, so like on a night out, it's, it's nice. Mm. I like it, yeah? Okay, so then I was thinking maybe just the black coat. But also, it's actually freezing out there. Even though it looks really nice, it's freezing. So this is the black coat, but then again, does it look funny with my bad, bad uh, with my bare legs? I don't know. Let's see. I think I'll be alright. Just looking in the mirror there. Yeah, that looks better that for looks a better. day. Yeah. <laughs> Good, I'm glad we've established that. Right, so I'm just gonna put it on with some little heels. So they're not too high, but I find when I go to events, I'm always the smallest there. Um, so I like to have a little bit of height. Um, yeah, I think that'll be alright, won't it? Yeah. yeah, I don't need anything else. I'll, be, I'll, I'll wrap up when I'm walking, and then I'm going to use my new Fairfax and Faber bag, which I absolutely love. It's got the this as well, um, the handle to put over. But I think that that that's good, isn't it? Yeah, feeling smart. Right, I'm off to Harrogate. See you later. So I have arrived already, and they've set the table up. Uh, on here for us it's nice and quiet tonight they've got an event I think with over a hundred people coming so I'm really pleased that they've managed to fit us in so this is where we're going to be sitting I absolutely love all the decor in here it is beautiful so we're gonna have drinks as we come in at the bar there and then food will be served on here and I think what we're gonna have to try and do is get people to move spaces I always hate events when you sit down because then you don't get to talk to other people I think the whole idea about this is networking talking to people that you don't know and you know catching up with people obviously so we might have to rotate the, the, like the tape get people moving I don't know how Lucy's on her way right now so she will hopefully be able to um, think of an idea <laughs> because I can't think Good morning, um, I am just heading out for lunch. I've just put on this new dress that has arrived from phase eight. I'll try and put a photo of it on the screen so you can actually see it. I really like it, it's kind of like a stretchy material. It's got a bit of rouging around the waist with a tie. And because the tie is in the same color as the fabric, I think it works quite well because it doesn't draw attention to my waist. So I really like it, I love the v-neck with the collar and it's a really nice length so I'm going to wear that with little black boots and my Fairfax and Faber bag and 
little my little black I've done the little black boots and my coat so my big coat that I bought the other day um, the reason why I'm in here though is because I just want to show you what has been happening in that room I'm very excited so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of it I'm hoping lots more will happen this weekend he's actually off Saturday and Sunday so I'm hoping that we're going to get make progress in here um, but he did work really hard last night for hours so I'll just quickly show you. We're, I'm heading out to lunch in Weatherby. There isn't that many places to go around here for lunch. Um, so we're heading to Weatherby. We're going to a cafe there, which used to be a big chain. And now it's changed to something else and I haven't actually been. So we're going to head there. I'm meeting a friend who I've not seen for ages, so that'll be nice. And then I'm going to come back and photograph some content. I need to write my um, blog post or newsletter that I do for... It goes out every month um, explaining what I've been doing this month, what I'm looking forward to next month. I've got a really good subscription list. I seem to get people just signing up, like, I don't know why, randomly. Sometimes I'll do like a shout out on Instagram and say, oh, do you want to sign up to my newsletter? But I've actually got a really big list of emails now, which is great. I always think to myself, what happens if Instagram goes? So I like to have different avenues like doing this and doing my blog and obviously having people's emails, you've got your direct content content to them. So yeah, um, so I'm working on that now. Anyway, let me turn this around and I will show you the what we've been doing there or what he's been doing, not me. So these panels arrived. They're like acoustic kind of panels, I think they're called. So like, it, it's like wood here but black and then this on here so this is the oak one i'll try and put a link below to where they're from so he's just put this white i don't know what that is white something wood of some sort on the top here and then this here and then the radiator is going to go here i'm going to add some of the wood that kind of i don't know paneled wood across here and then a yellow skirting board that will run down the back there and run across the back here um, obviously a cupboard door needs to go on this is the yellow there's a hint for you there but I'm really pleased with it I think it looks really nice so I've got a TV up here basically I'm one of these people that love noise background noise I don't even watch the TV that much but I just love having background noise so I'm gonna have my own little it's not little it's huge basically it was the one that was in the playroom I've had this for years can you see Tilly decided to scratch it after we had it for about two days when she was little so it's a really old um tv but it's on a bracket so i can spin it round. i'm hoping if i do like a conference call i could maybe put it up there not that i know how to do that but hoping my husband might help be able to help um so i've got the tv there this is going to be the desk i'm going to need to find a higher chair because it's actually quite high it's basically like a worktop so don't really know how it's going to work in terms of sitting on it. I basically need to find a chair that goes up and down. I have got this chair, but it doesn't seem to go up and down. So I'm not really sure. This is where I'm working at the moment. So you can see it's absolute chaos. But we're getting there. <laughs> you're all thinking, no, you're not. We are. The carpets are supposed to come next Wednesday, so this all needs to be cleared. So it's going to be operation sort out this weekend. Just got back from lunch. Um, we had a really nice lunch, actually. It's kind of like a brunch, breakfast, lunch place. It was really good. So this, I've just picked up these. That's why I'm photographing these. Um, they were in Marks and Spencer's, so popped in there on the way back just to get some bits of food. And they had these, and I just thought, actually, do you know what? I think they would look quite nice to add some green into here. So I've got this. I've also got an orchid to put on here. And this one, I think this is supposed to bring you money. I can't remember the theory behind this one, but I remember it's shaped like this and it's shiny. I did have one before and it died. So I'm hoping that won't happen with this one. And then this, I don't know what it's called. Probably should look at the name, shouldn't I? Um, but I do remember my art teacher at school having a plant like this and we always had to draw it on our still life. 
and I've always liked it because of that. I've never actually owned one, I don't think. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to buy one of those. So we've got three little plants, plus my orchid to go on here. So I'm hoping that will look good on the desk. I'm just going to put it in amongst all the nails now though. There we go. Another delivery has just turned up though, let me show you. This is from Jude's Ice Cream. If you don't know them, then you need to know them. It's probably one of my favourite ice creams. This is one of my favourites, flat white coffee. This one is so good, really good. And then obviously vanilla is always good. These we've had before in the summer and they're really, really nice. Um, and then the kids obviously love those. They are at the moment doing a collaboration though. Let me find the leaflet. So it is called Summer Down, the company that they're doing this collaboration with. Um, and it's all kind of mint products. Here we go. So you can see, I'll put a link to their website below. But they're doing a collaboration with Jude at the moment. And it is for this mint chocolate ice cream which I'm quite interested to try. I'm not a massive fan of mint chocolate. However, I do like Jude's, so I'm sure I'm gonna like this. But I'm just gonna take some photographs now. Oh, sugar. So, and then I think I might try some later. Looks good. No, come back, come and explain, come and explain. I've just literally left Melissa for a second. Well, it felt like a second, it was about an hour, and she has baked all of this. We've got a cake sale tomorrow at school, and I was like, do you think you could knock up something? Anyway, look at this. So what have we got? That's a strawberry flan. My nana used to make it and gave me the recipe. It's really, really easy. So this is just like a sponge base? Yeah, it's a pre-made as well, sponge base. base. Great. Strawberries and then like a jelly pack. Well, I think they're going to love that. I yeah. might take a slice of that yeah. too. This is not good for my diet. Attempted to do rainbow cakes. Cake, so we'll see what They look good. So are you going to put and like, lay it like that? Don't or know. Decoration? Don't know. Don't right, know I'll, <laughs> I'll just leave that to you. And then what have we got just here? Biscuits biscuits oh and there's some already done in there yeah. they look great so we have got some percy pig shapes where are yeah, they it's supposed to be these ones but they look more like a cow <laughs> i quite like them so we've got stars and cows <laughs> stars and cows basically and some hearts and uh, flowers oh. but they don't look like a flower either oh, that's great they look really good <laughs> fantastic she's really been busy <laughs> well done melissa <laughs> oh i am just steaming this dress can you see that that's the back hold on let me turn it round so you can actually see so i am working or i should point this out here uh with this company can't do this um called Tef tefal um and um i'm working with this steamer it's actually like really good i've owned a steamer for quite a while now but the steamer i have i think was about 10 pounds and you can definitely tell the difference. This is so good. So it's got loads of different heads that you put on it and they're like magnetic, so they just come off. Can I show you? I don't know how to do it with one hand. Like that, and then they just kind of snap on. So there's one where you can spray your like perfume or whatever scent you want onto it, and so it just connects like that. So all the heads do different things. I feel like I should show you the heads now, hold on. Hold on, hold fire, wherever I put them. Here they are. So uh, I've got a campaign going out on um, Instagram tomorrow. So this is the, the, so this one's really cool. So what you do is you slide this little blue thing up here and you can spray your perfume on it. And then you can do like, like all your soft furnishings, things like that. So I really like that. And then it's got all different sorts of heads. So ones for like animal hair and thing like dust and all this sort of thing. So you put it all together but I have just been ironing this dress because it has arrived from phase eight. So along with this one, which I really like, it, I've just worn it for lunch and it's so comfy. Just a really nice, um, smart dress that's easy to wear. Really love their stuff. I just think it's great quality and really, really comfy. Um, but this, I love. Look at the print, can you see the print? This is, there we go really nice what's it called let's have a look so i got it in a size 14 so it's called the ava leopard dress it's really nice and long it's got the tie around it i just love it 
so I'm really pleased with that. And then there's a jumpsuit that's come, which I tried on. Do you remember when I went to um, the Phase 8 shop in Skipton? I tried this on at the time, and I didn't have the right shoes to wear with it, but I saw a lady wearing it, and it looks so good. So normally I can't really wear jumpsuits because I'm so short, it just doesn't really work for me. But, and also because it's got pockets, again, on the bust, I'm always a bit like, oh, I don't want to draw attention to my bust. Um, but actually it works really well because it's the same colour as the as the fabric, so you actually see this, like, sleeves that, I mean, pockets there. It's obviously got the sleeves that cover your arms. It can be the V-neck. The tie, I might twist around to the side so that it doesn't tie in the front, drawing attention to this part here. So if I put it more towards the side, I'm hoping that would work, but we'll see when it's on. And then I think this would look really nice with some really nice black pointed high heel boots, which I don't have. Um, but I think that's something that's really missing from my wardrobe. Um, and then this, some of these jumpers arrived. I'm waiting for, this one's really nice. It's kind of like an orangey color there. Um, I'm waiting for some boots to come so that I can put those on with the boots But I'm just gonna go out and take some photographs of this um, So I'll try and put them up on the screen so you can actually see what it looks like and the same with the leopard print dress And then hopefully you'll get a good idea of what they would look like hopefully on you um, But I love them. I love the print. It's just gorgeous Good morning, I'm just heading to the post office um, to post back that hideous frame that uh, was for the TV. It, you remember it looked like brown parcel tape? Finally came around to sending it back. It's been massive tube. But I've just done a Macmillan coffee morning at school, helped with a playgroup, popped into a friend's house to use her bathroom to do a photo shoot, and then I need to go back and do those work. But exciting news, the wallpaper man is there and it looks amazing, I can't wait to show you. So as soon as I get back, I will show you the wallpaper up. He's nearly finished, um, but I need to go and get this in the post before I forget. Um, so I'll show you when I get back, but I might show you a bit of things that are going on in the village, if there is anything exciting. I'm not sure, it's like, what day is it, Thursday? Yeah, nothing much happens on a Thursday. It's a quiet little village. So here it is, what do you think? It is quite wacky, I'm not gonna lie, for me. But I do I love it. It's a bit, a bit out there. I think my mum's gonna say it's disgusting. Oh well, I really like it. I'm gonna try and pick out all these colors here because there's quite a few, we've got this lovely blue which I really love this blue. It's a really nice, warm blue. I'm gonna try and pick out some of these colors. I especially love this pink. It's like a bit, it's like a, um, a kind of fuchsia-y, that's not the right word, I don't know. It's like a funny pink, that, but I really like it. We've got the peaches in here, a lighter peach. We've got obviously the greens coming through and the green here, which I think works really well with the walls over there. I'm so pleased with it. It's so nice. So because this wallpaper was astronomical, I only bought one roll. Um, this is probably one of my most expensive purchases in this room. In fact, it is. Uh, do not tell my husband if you know him, he will hit the roof. So I had, although my husband is very capable of doing wallpaper and he has done wallpaper before for me, I just thought he would hate it even more and then refuse to put it up. So basically I got a man in today uh, who has wallpapered for me before downstairs in the girls room and he's really good. Um, and I basically said to him, I can only afford one roll, what can you do? So we have done this wall up to there. I'm gonna have curtains here going down and then curtains on that side. So this pillar here will be painted this, this color here. And then obviously below it will be painted. Now we're gonna have a sofa there. And I can't quite work out whether the sofa is actually going to back up onto the wall. I don't really want it to. 
I quite like to have some lights here, although I'm going to have a wall light there, so maybe I don't. What I would like is a gap behind the back of it, and then the sofa kind of here. Maybe, oh, I don't think it's going to all fit. I just don't, yeah, maybe not. I don't know how it's going to fit, to be honest. Because obviously this is the centre, and I want there to be a walkway there. So I think it actually there's not going to be a gap. I'm imagining something that's not going to work. Anyway, I think it looks really nice with this green colour. So I'm really pleased with it. I think he's just going to be not impressed. Let's see. I haven't told him I'm doing it. So we'll see what he says when he walks in and sees there's wallpaper on the wall. Um, we need to obviously paint the ceiling, I think, this weekend. I say we, the royal we. My husband needs to paint the ceiling this weekend. We've got a few random cracks in there. So we're going to try and fill those, paint it white, just brighten it up in here. And then we've obviously got this green going all the way along here. And then here, this wall is going to be pictures. So my husband just wanted to put one picture and I was like, no, 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 we're going to have lots of different pictures, all different sorts, make it really random. He obviously didn't like that idea. But yeah, I am, sorry, it keeps going out of focus, so pleased with the wallpaper. It's so gorgeous. It's like really weird, but I love it. I think it will look great with these pink sofas that we've got coming. So two velvet pink sofas are going here. I'm just in the middle of writing, not quite, here's my writing desk, the newsletter for October. And I've just put a link to the sofas and where we've got them. Then I've obviously got my big kind of puff ottoman thing going here. I don't know how this is all going to fit, but we'll have to imagine it. Obviously, we won't have a fridge in here. Or the yellow um, skirting boards, which are going in the room next door. Had loads of questions about this panelling. Um, so I need to put a link to where you can get this. The, that This is the panelling that's in this room here. Do -do. Oh, I can't. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. So pleased with it. I think it looks fantastic. It just really finishes it off nicely in here. I just showed my friend, she came round and we quickly went for a walk and she was just like, wow, I cannot believe that he has done all this. But also I can't believe that from, she knows what it was like. I mean, this was the most disgusting, if I can find a photo, I want to put it on here. It was the most disgusting kitchen ever. Basically where I'm standing was some weird breakfast bar and then it went round into here all around here. It was just, not that this looks any better, does it? <laughs> oh gosh, look at this. But it will be nice. I'm so excited. I'm really excited to be able to sit in here in the evenings in like winter, can't wait. Still haven't got very far with my little wood burner thing. I need to work on getting something for there. But I just love it. I love the wallpaper. morning from a very wet Yorkshire. I think it's pouring everywhere. So we have made progress, oh sorry, so my husband made progress last night. He didn't get back till really quite late from work. Uh, but he has now managed to add on this panelling around here. Um, can you see that there? So we've got it going around and I'm hoping he's going to do something there. I don't know what he's doing obviously put something on that to cover those pipes. So the radiator is supposed to be going on here. We're waiting for the plumber. And I think it's gonna look like he, my husband's gonna have to just put them on. I'm not sure if he knows how to put a radiator on, but he's gonna have to Google it because we're on a time tight schedule because we've got the carpets coming. Maybe not for this one, but for definitely in here. We need to get this done in here because otherwise, 
I think it's difficult when carpets are put down. I've actually got no idea. So, I really love the yellow though. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, I think with my plants, it's going to be really good as well. So the kids are out tomorrow afternoon on Saturday, so I am going to try and get some of my stuff in these cupboards and get this desk a bit sorted so that I can actually start working in here so then we can start clearing in there because it's just a tip. It's really getting me down, like working on this desk and having all this stuff around me. I, I mean, yeah, this is this is what I'm sitting next to. What's this? I don't know. So yeah, it's just I just can't seem to get through any to-do lists or do anything because I'm working in this sort of mess. Uh, I've managed to just do a few emails, but. I don't feel very motivated at all because of this around me but I am pleased with the progress I need to be grateful that I've got a husband that's so handy and that can do all of this I've got I saw a friend yesterday and she was saying that we have saved so much money on labor because everything just costs so much money I think they had quotes to do cupboards around here like this by the side of the um fireplace and they were like thousands so we have saved loads of money however it's just really slow progress and i think it's really hard when it gets you down but i think i'm hoping that we're seeing the end of the tunnel very soon i love this it's gonna be a really nice place to work i am gonna need a radio today because it's getting chilly so we still need to see the lights in here. Finish off doing the yellow skirting board going all the way round. I really feel like we might need some yellow on the top. Maybe not. Maybe the yellow's a bit much. But I do kind of want some plants and greenery along here. Some more plants, I think. Um, just to just kind of finish it off. And I need to do something about this chair. Because that is... I don't think my chair's going to work. I'm going to be far too low. So I need like a, a stool chair or something that this chair that rises up I think to go in that space I need to get rid of things like these paintings that yeah I need to go because we've got no walls I'm going to style these shelves up have some with books I have some of my props and things for photo shoots on there um sort out all these kitchen cupboards but we're getting there even though it doesn't look like it um this afternoon I'm going to be doing a photo shoot I think I'm going to do it in the kitchen Although it is very dark, I'm going to do that. And I might give you a house tour as well, just so that you can see some of the rooms. I don't think I've ever done that. That's a bit better, I've just moved it. Um, so this mirror, one day, will hopefully be put up here. However, my husband just doesn't seem to have time and that's not a priority apparently to get that up. So it's just hanging around. It's been hanging around for the last two months. I can hardly, breathe because I've got this really big can you see like turtleneck thing on it's really nice so this is kind of like you can't really see it's like an orange color I'll try and get a picture to come up on the screen here and show you so it's phase eight I haven't really had any of their knitwear before and this is a it's just really nice it feels nice it's not itchy this bit I think is going to be really good for um winter to be, be feel like cozy so I have got it on with a pair of wait for it bootlegged jeans to be honest I just was like mm, I used to wear these when I was about 15 I'm not gonna wear them um, they're a bit they're I'm wondering if they're too baggy here what do you think so this is the these are fa um, no they're not they are mint velvet they are short, they, you can, the reason why I don't like mint velvet is because you can have different leg lengths. So I'm five foot two, so I need to have short leg lengths. So I really like that. I do like the way they're cut. I feel like I need to, look, shall I go a size smaller and not breathe in them for a bit? Because look, they are quite baggy. I feel like I'm gonna need to go for a size that's smaller. So this bit is my problem area here. Um, so I try to not draw attention to it or whatever, so I've tucked it in a little bit, I've done a French tuck there and then I've just been sort of playing around with this jumper because it's quite big and boxy, I'll show you in a minute. 
Um, so I think it needs a sort of tuck in, but I do really like it. And then I've teamed it with these boots. So these are quite a funny colour. They're kind of taupey. Can you see them there? Let's show you in the mirror. There we go. They're water resistant. They're from a company called Vicon Viconic. And I've had their boots before. They wear really, really well. And they're just comfy. You know, they're sort of like comfy boots. Not too big the heel, but a little bit of a heel, so you feel you're up high. And I think they work really well with, you know, this kind of look. Um, you could probably wear it skirts and tights as well. But I think because they're water resistant, I think they're going to be really useful. Anyway, so I put the bootlegs over it. I feel like they're too big, these. What do you think? I think I'm going to have to go a bit smaller. Because I think jeans are going to give as well. I've just packaged up the other ones to send back. Now I'm thinking, mm, yeah, I might wait. Just because um, I just feel like that is not a great look, is it? Especially because jeans give away. I just think they're going to get bigger, especially around here. But maybe they are meant to be like that. I think I need to get the other pair on and try them again and just see. But anyway, I like the style. I like the cuts. Got very, they're very squeaky, these shoes. They've not been worn outside yet. They've just been worn in here. I've just been taking some photos. I had the fire lit, which is now going out. And then I've just kind of tried to tidy up this kitchen as much as I can, uh, just because it looks a hell of a lot better when it's tidied up. So I've been doing some photos here. I normally have these little leaf things up on here because I have big twigs and I haven't put that back up this year. I think I might do it you know next year but we've just got so much going on I haven't got around to it basically so I've stuck it up there it looks a bit rubbish to be honest I think for Christmas I need to do something a lot better but um, I just wanted to show you this outfit that's why I came on here quite like it I think yeah I think I need smaller jeans don't I just not have this anyway right I was going to give you a house tour so that is what I will do now not all the rooms, I'm really sorry, because a lot of it is a tip. So you can't go in lots of rooms, but I'll show you a bit downstairs and you should hopefully be intrigued because this is an old coach house. All the coaches used to come in through that way there. There was a big barn there and then it came into this barn here. And so our bedrooms are downstairs, which is a little bit weird. And a lot of people find that odd. We've just kind of got used to it. And it's actually really nice because in winter, it's quite cosy downstairs. And then in summer, it's really cool. So it's actually a really nice way of living. Um, so I will show you around in a minute. So I probably should have checked this, shouldn't I, before I do a tour. This is our hallway here. I won't show you behind me because it's a bit of a mess. But we next week, we're getting rid of this runner. So I made this runner out of a hallway runner. You can buy them in like Dunelm, Ikea, that sort of thing. I found this one on a cheap website and I basically stapled it to the floor. And it's worked really well for about two years, but it's a bit rubbish. It's not fitted the best because I don't know how to fit floor. Um, so we are actually just going to carpet the whole lot, which I'm not sure if I'm that happy about, but it'll be a hell of a lot better than this. Yeah, I'm not happy about it at all, because I would really like a nice runner coming down here. We use these stairs all the time. They are used all the time, because this is our living space up here. So, it kind of, I don't know, I just feel we're going to regret it. But anyway, we're doing it for now. We've tried things like painting the stairs, that wears out. We've tried making runners like this, that just doesn't work. All the dust gathers on the side. They're constantly, constantly having to clean them, look after them, and I just don't have time for it. So, let's see how we get on with just carpet. That'll probably be a disaster too. Anyway, so down here we have the doll's house. My husband built that for my eldest when she was little. And this chest of drawers, which I absolutely love. I really want to paint it one day, uh, but it's just staying like that because I don't have any time at the moment. Um, so, it's full of things so what have we got kids winter hats what have we got welly socks that's a bit random uh sun hats all these sorts of things sunglasses sun cream it's really random 
Anyway, oh, that one doesn't have one. Or oh, this one, I think these ones are spare. Anyway, we've got spare shoes and things like that for the kids. Gloves, hats, all that sort of thing. So I absolutely love this. It was my mum's, she had it for a long time and um, I've basically nicked it before anyone else did. It's been sat in a cupboard. So let me try and see if I can get this light on. So this is our bathroom. You will have seen this featured lots on my Instagram, lots on my uh, YouTube and things like that. So we have got the pink bath, which everybody loves, and this beautiful dark blue. Now, I wish we kind of hadn't gone this dark because we've only got this as natural light. It's actually a really rubbish place to take photos because it just doesn't work at all. It's so dark. Like, if I turn off the light, hold on. See, you can't do anything. And obviously if you take photos in this light, it's horrendous. I um, am a photographer and I hate light like this. I only like natural light. I've got a few products up here that I've been working with. So this is this beautiful product called Kiss the Moon. This is a bit of a random one. And these products I love. So I've just been using those. I'm trying to think what else I've got to show you here. All the pictures of the children. People love these when they come to the loo. They're always like, I love your photos. I always think I need to do more, I never do. Um, what else have we got? We've got a lovely rug that I've been working with this company here. Uh, they are a rug company basically, but they've just uh, released these scents mats. So they're called Hug a Rug. Hug, Hug Rug? Yeah, Hug and then a Heart and then Rug. So it's actually a really nice bath mat. It's really big and it fits under the door, which my son showed me the other day. He's like, look, it fits, whereas none of the others fitted and we could never shut the door. So it's a bit random, but it is a nice bath mat. Got the shower there. That is an outdoor light from B&Q, and we just sprayed the sides. We really wanted one of these lights, but they were all really expensive, so we just cheated. Let me show you along here. So we have got Rafferty's room here. This is an old spare mattress. I'm not really sure what to do with it. We'd have to pay to get it taken away or take it to the, to the tip and pay for it. So we've just kind of left it there for when cousins come to stay or we have a sleepover. It's actually quite good. If we move this chair, we can pull it out. It's not ideal. We probably need like a little trundle bed. But anyway, it's just there. So this is all his sort of furniture from when he was little. It's, well, this one is actually an eBay purchase. It was really good, this. This is an Ikea chair which again was an eBay purchase, I think that was really cheap. I've got all his things from when he was little up there. His bunting, apparently he hates tractors now, which is a bit annoying. Seeing as we've got tractors everywhere. This is my fabric, uh, my Floor & Co fabric. So you can buy these tractors on fabric uh, by the meter. If you check out my website, I'm sure it's in the link. And then we've just got his wardrobe here. So it's quite a small room. We're missing the R. I'm not quite sure where that is. These are po from Posh Graffiti. I always get asked where their name things are from. And they make obviously little wooden letters, but I love having their names on there. I need to find that R. So this um, is the girls' bedroom. This you will have seen again on my Instagram. We've just newly put this wallpaper up here. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It's really, really nice. It's a bit kind of scandy and I think it probably is really meant for a nursery but I thought I could get away with it for a few more years. So the girls have got a bunk, Phoebe is on the bottom, we compromise because she's got a double. The bed is, I think it's from Bed World and if I'm honest I wouldn't recommend it, it was a nightmare to put up and it's a nightmare to change the beds over so if you're thinking of bunk beds don't do it. But it does save a lot of space so there are pros um, over here we need to change this area here i need a new chest of drawers this is all clothes to try on that are either too big or too small and um, should we give them to cousins or not got a, a nice little photo wall here and i love the scalloped edges They're, i just love that it looks really good and it looks really cool on the back of this door as well look at that i love that i think that's really really nice uh, I think that was kind of the fashion on Instagram a few years ago to have it going round the door with just one line. So I've just continued the scallop. And then this is our dilemma at the moment. It is what do we do with this space? So we've had this. This used to be a toy cupboard of mine when I was a child. And we are using it as a wardrobe. Except all their clothes are quite big now. It was fine when they were a baby. 
but it just doesn't fit as you can see so I kind of want to build something in here my husband is slightly too busy to do it at the moment which is annoying but that is on the list to do it might take a while to do so for now we're just squashing it in here which is a shame but we need something and this kind of space makes it open to actually creating a wardrobe space in here as well we've got silly little windows uh, that you can't do much with so we just have blackout um, fabric which is amazing if you if you are struggling with your children sleeping I don't really anymore because mine sleep I like sleep but you, you just buy this fabric and it's kind of like felty on this side and then kind of small softer on that side and you stick a load of velcro around the window can you see up there and you literally velcro it on and you have a blackout room so even though Raph's got curtains I still put it on there I put it in our room too when my husband used to do nights we like he really struggled to sleep in the day so I got it then and I think it is the best thing ever so if you need a bit of sleep you can buy it on Amazon you can buy a plastic one and it's not as good I did that by mistake once so look for fabric and I just got white because our window frames are white and so then it just sticks on you don't even notice and you just take it off and fold it up in the morning and you wouldn't even notice it's there I totally recommend it if you are lacking in sleep and this is our spare room this is actually where our au pair is she's got all her lovely photos up there it's quite a nice room because it's quite quiet I'm saying that as I can hear people <laughs> chatting outside it's just a really nice calming room I'd actually quite like it as my room um, and it's really warm and yeah it's just a really nice space so it's really funny to see how each au pair decorates it and does their room but yeah it's this is where they are and then but behind me they've obviously got a desk and a chest of drawers and a wardrobe and all that sort of stuff but I haven't really featured this much on my Instagram. We did it up a few years ago and then I did do lots of it then, but obviously there's people in here so it's difficult to take photos. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. So here we have the playroom. It really doesn't look as tidy as this normally. A bit of random wallpaper's fallen off there so we need to sort that bit out. On the list to do, um, we're really into Lego at the moment, so we have all these Lego creations everywhere and I kind of need a room just for Lego because it just takes over the place. So we're kind of using these spaces here and up here for the Harry Potter castle. This is where they obviously watch TV, this is full of games, this is craft stuff. The girls love crafting so a lot is done on this desk here. But it's quite a nice space, it's cosy. Although there's no natural light, it's quite good for like movie nights and sleepovers and things like that. So it works quite well. If I come down here, I'll show you around. This has just arrived. Can you hear the rain outside? It's pouring. So this is from probably one of my favorite sleep companies, sleep companies, pajama companies. It's called Sleepy Day. They're based in Bath and they have the most gorgeous pajamas. I am one of these people that like to layer up and be really cozy and their pajamas, I've bought quite a few pairs in the past and they are great quality. So I've just bought these for Matilda. If you sign up to their mailing list um, email thing, you subscribe to their emails, you get obviously emails with what new stock and stuff like that, but you also get uh, emails with um, stuff that's on sale or samples, sample sales. And these were in the sample sale and they were, I wanna say for all of this, I got it, it really, really knocked down. So these are pajama bottoms. I think they were part of their Easter range to be honest, so they're from Matilda, I think they're really cute, really nice, I might get them to wear them this weekend actually because they're just, she will just love that, it's just really cosy. Um, and then I picked up this for Phoebe, so this is blue um, with 
little bows. How cute is that print? Really, really nice. They're a bit kind of like um, petty bateau kind of things, but obviously they do bigger sizes and just really, really gorgeous quality. And then I also got some for me. So I have some pajamas of theirs which I bought in the sale last year and they have lasted really, really well. I always buy them big because I like them to be big and cozy. Um, so I've got these. It's quite a summer print because obviously it's a sample and they're, you, they're putting it in their set. One of the things that are really good about these pyjamas are the fact that they have poppers. I can't even do it with one hand. They just stay secure and tight. You know when you have buttons and they come undone, you're walking along, they come undone, they don't do up properly, they slip out. These stay and they're just so nice. So they, they're just honestly the best pyjamas I've ever had. Um, and like they go all the way down that that is lovely and then these i really like because they're elasticated there's no tie around them they don't fall down you know they're just really really good quality they're also really nice thick t-shirt material so they're nice and warm but anyway i'll stop going on about it now but i really do love this brand uh have a look and see if you can find it on the internet and then sign up to their newsletters because honestly the sales are really good and the sample sales are even better. Beautiful. Good morning, it's Saturday. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today and we are stuck inside. So the plan is to shift all this stuff out. He started taking up the bits of wood over there to look at the pipes for the radiators. The plumber can't come now so he's going to do it on his own so he's been googling on here how to fit radiators i'm slightly worried anyway that one's been drained and come off mm, yeah i'm just as worried as you are about it all my plan is to move everything from my desk into here so I'm just clearing all this. And so by the end of today, hopefully we will have shifted a lot of stuff from that room out. So uh, we found this wallpaper hidden underneath um, the, in the lounge area. Gosh, I feel like I'm choking with all this dust. It's so dusty. I can see why people move out when they're doing renovation because it's ugh, very, very dusty. So I found this. I feel like I want to keep it. I'm a bit of a hoarder. And um, this one too. Quite like this one. Don't know, don't know if they're anything exciting, but I do quite like them. And that's all we found. Maybe there'll be more as we go, but I think we're nearly done in the other room. So we have been working all day. Uh, let me show you where we're up to. I've just been hoovering with Henry. And here is the space at the moment. Oh, the radiator still needs to go up there, on that wall there, and bits of skirting board need to be stuck down. We need to do more coats of white paint. The children are very irritating. They're all, <laughs> they're all having the shower. I think it's really hard trying to do a renovation project when you've got children around. You feel like you're neglecting them and not giving them enough attention, and then they just say they're bored. So it's been really hard. Oh look, Matilda. Hello. How can I help you? Has the phone did the phone work? She's found an yes. old Oh my gosh, she's found an old phone and decided that she wants to try and charge it up. Has it got any battery? Oh a bit. Does it, it doesn't say how much you have. It doesn't mean that really it doesn't mean you can have the phone. I guess. Definitely not. Um, so yeah, they're all a bit <laughs> tired, um, Raph's just having a shower and then I think we're going to try and all get an early night because <laughs> it's been a long day, but I feel like we've made progress. I've put all the cooking books down there, which I really don't want them to go down there. I've got these prints, which I need to go up on the wall. This is all a bit random at the moment. And then over here, I've tried to wash down and clean most things. I've left this on don't really know why I probably should just take it off now I think maybe once the carpet's done next door 
and then we get rid of a lot more dust then maybe I'll start taking these things off this bit obviously needs to be fixed so there's little bits that need doing um, but it is a hell of a lot better than it was I'm really pleased with it so it's actually getting quite dark in here and we haven't got any lights apart from that one and the lamp over there. So we, we actually do need to really sort out lights in day um, because there's obviously no ceiling lights. It's quite a low um, curved ceiling. James has just painted it all white and I think that will hopefully make it a lighter. Uh, but he's also finished painting the walls. So on the bottom and the top there. And then that's obviously going through to the study. That's when the door closes, it hopefully, I'm stepping on paint, will look like a wall effect. I think there's a bit of a skeleton board in the way, so it's not shutting. And then over this side, we have got the built in cupboards over there. And he's just taken up the boards because these are the pipes. This is how old this house is. There are far too many pipes. Um, so tomorrow the plan is to take these radiators off, this one and this one, and then put the new radiators in, which are this colour. I really like them. Hopefully uh, they'll look really, really nice all around there. And then I feel like we've made really good progress today. Good evening. I've suddenly realised it's Sunday evening and I haven't been on here all day because I've been doing rugby and then a part party. I can't remember, I'm so tired. So this is the room now. I've managed to clear everything. I wish I'd shown you this in the light, but I haven't. Next week I will be able to show you more videos, but actually the night. It's getting there, it looks really good. So, yeah, next week the carpet's coming. I need to sort out the lights. There's one light going over there, one there, one there, and one there. You also need to sort out a new lampshade. This is a bit pathetic. So that is on my list to do. I've got, my list is huge for this week. Anyway, so I'm gonna get on with that. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to it because I think that means that more people get to see the videos if I've got more subscribers. And if you've got any comments at all or questions about any of this, then please leave a comment and I will get back to you. See you all next week.